My wing mirror was hit by a very large lorry a few days ago. I temporarily held the mirror in place with tape and ordered Streetwise's Easy Mirror Fix Kit. I've not had any sponsorship or anything to make this video. I'm just a satisfied customer showing how I use this kit to temporarily fix my wing mirror until the insurance company and the proper repairer can fix and replace the mirror. There are instructions on the back of the packaging, but I decided not to follow these instructions because as you will see shortly, the glass in my wing mirror had fallen out after the collision. There is only one thing in the kit, a piece of reflective plastic, vinyl, whatever you want to call it, with glue on the other side, which is 8 inches by 5 inches. This was big enough for my small hatchback's wing mirror. The reflective surface is covered by a protective film. You can see the actual reflective surface in the corner where they have peeled back the protective film. Returning to the car, I cut the tape holding the mirror in place. The tape was all that was holding the mirror in place. I'd not pushed the mirror back into its proper mountings, so at this stage the mirror just dropped out of the wing mirror mounting. The only thing attaching the wing mirror to the car after the accident was the two leads for the heated mirror, which I had disconnected after the collision. I will be clicking the mirror back into place properly in its mountings, so the first thing I did was to check that none of the plastic mounting bits were broken on either the back of the mirror or inside the wing mirror housing. Everything looks okay, so I returned to my bench. The first thing I had to do was carefully and slowly remove all the tape on the mirror. I didn't want to pull away loads of glass. The black bits are where I lost fragments of glass in the collision and I don't want to lose much more so that the temporary replacement reflective vinyl has a flat surface to stick to it with the glue. I can now use the mirror as a template to cut the reflective vinyl. I put the reflective side down and put the mirror on top of the glue side which has white protective sheet on it. Now I tried to draw around the mirror with a pencil, then with a pen, but neither would actually leave a mark on the white surface. In the end, I had to use a permanent marker pen. You will then need to use a good pair of sharp scissors to cut the mirror to shape. I didn't worry about getting this exact, it's a temporary fix, so as long as it's roughly the same shape as the mirror, it'll be fine. If it is too big and overlaps the actual mirror, then it will catch on the wing mirror housing. If it's too small, it will reveal a bit of the broken mirror underneath. I decided that a fraction too small is preferable to a fraction too big. So I cut it roughly, then trimmed it to get a better match with the shape and size of the mirror. I then gently wiped the broken mirror to get it as clean as possible. Be very careful when doing this because shards of glass may come away from the mirror. I'd normally try to get a surface as clean and dry as possible before gluing, but on this occasion the risk of broken glass meant I just gave it a quick wipe. You can then peel off the white backing on the glue side. The glue is quite strong and glues very quickly, so make sure that you get the easy fix mirror in the right position first time and then press gently to make sure it's glued in place. The reflective side has a protective film. Do not remove it at this stage, but just peel back a little bit so that you can easily grab this little bit and then pull off all the reflective film later. I returned to my car and removed all the rest of the tape. I didn't reconnect the heated wing mirror because I suspect that if the glass heats up then it may affect the strength of the glue holding the easy fix mirror onto the broken mirror glass. So it is now just a case of pushing the mirror back onto the mounting in the wing mirror housing. This was the first time I've done this and I think the best way to do this is to use the base of your hand to gently but firmly push the mirror back into place. You should hear and feel the little clicks as the mirror goes back into place.
When the mirror appears to be held firmly in place, I got into the car and tested the electric mirror adjustment. I held my hand just below the mirror just in case it fell out. As you can see, I was able to move the mirror as normal. I can now remove the protective film on the reflective surface by grabbing the little tab of film that I pulled back earlier. As you can see, it's not quite as flat as a proper glass mirror, but as a temporary fix, it's perfect, until my insurance and car repairer can do a proper fix. I spotted this gap, which concerned me until I checked the passenger side, which has got the same gap. So it's obviously a designed gap that's, I presume, for drainage or something. I'm impressed by the Streetwise Easy Fit kit. It's a very good temporary fix for a broken mirror, and it's very easy to fit as well.